Hey, hey, everybody, we are looking at the Pioneer RMX 1000 Remix Station and having it hooked up with the Denon DJ X1800. So there's been some people that were having some issues getting this thing going, and I thought, why not make a video and see if we can make it work? So I have been playing around with it. A couple of things I've noticed as I've been running it is that when I was running my send return, which is like up here, of course, and when I turned things on, I was noticing the bass was sounding a little bit different. So I had to do a little fine tuning of things to get it to sound just right, because there's the idea. When you turn that on and off, whether there's an effect on, like when you have the effects off here, you shouldn't hear a difference, whether that's, well, because I have an effect on. Turn all the effects off here. And when I turn this on and off, you probably don't hear it in the video, but, I hear ever so slight. I it's hard to tell, but when you start adjust the frequency, things are changing for sure. Um, so, anyways, I'll just turn that off for a second. This is a very simple setup. I don't know why people are having an issue getting it going because you're just doing your quarter inch send, which is basically an output and you're sending to the input of your RMX. The RMX has an output. That output feeds back into the return, which is basically like an input. So you're going out through the send and returning back into the mixer. So all you should do, what I had to do, so this is my send that seems to work for me. On the back of the RMX here, you're gonna see a switch there upside down and you want it on the send return because we're not going through a master output. We're doing the send return. And when I went to the utility, I went to my advanced audio. And this I did by, I was literally listening and turning the BPM effects on and off and setting things up of what worked for me. When I went to effects edit, go to unity level for your send return. Let's see if we can make that. I've got mine at nine dB. It goes up to 10. I set it at nine, I played around. You're gonna to have to adjust it the way you think sounds best on your end. Um, but other than that, that was the only thing I had to do. And then of course, I sign what channel I'm at, turn on the effect, turn on the input, hit on auto, it's 128, so reading that no problem. So it works. So then of course you can, you know, go down here. It helps if I have some time in. Helps if you turn on quantization too. And of course, you know, you know the usual, you adjust your. And then if I want to put effects, of course, down on my stuff. That's it. Um, didn't mean to make such a long video, but hopefully you guys get the hint. It works with no problem. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, share it out, leave a comment. Have fun, have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.